Okay, so this is crazy, right? We're importing lower quality shrimp from who knows where, while American shrimpers selling wild caught briny and more flavorful shrimp are struggling to stay in business. Large quantities of seafood landed in U.S. waters are exported to places like China for processing and then shipped back into the United States. As a result, some U.S. seafood imports appear to be foreign, but they're actually caught in the United States. So saying that 90% of our seafood is imported is somewhat misleading, since as much as 40% of it was probably caught by American fishermen in the first place. So we hear a lot about country of origin, where our food comes from, but specifically country of origin with seafood is huge. Tommy Gomes is a fishmonger. What's a fishmonger? It's a person who buys and sells raw fish and other seafood. They're knowledgeable about the types of fish, where and how they're caught. And what you look for when you're grading is you look for things like skin rot, depending on the age of the fish. Tommy and Captain Pete Grillo talk about some of the changes in commercial fishing and something called a fish aggregation device. You want to tell me what that is? The fish aggregation device. Okay. Basically, it's a device in the water that collects fish. So it used to be, as you said, you know, there was natural ones. There was logs. There was the occasional dead whale you might find. Oh yeah, those are good. You know, we've gotten down to where now we have satellite buoys. So I want I want sounders in them. Yeah. I want to touch on that. Yes. The and we make our own fads out of pieces of net. They're as big as this deck. Yeah. And they've got a little satellite on them. And they have a satellite with a sounder. So you can sit here on the beach and look at a fad three, four thousand miles away, and you can tell rough quantity of fish and rough size of fish that is underneath that fad. Beaming off the satellites. Yes. Right. So they're a good thing for efficiency. To a point. To a point. Uh, they're, they're a bad thing for fisheries management because of the fact that they do attract juvenile yellowfin and big eye, which the purse seiners do not want to catch. Right. But it attracts them, and the purse seiners catch them, and, and now in today's day and age, they have to keep all of that. Seafood harvested and produced in the U.S. is subject to strict regulations from a number of state and federal agencies, including state fish and wildlife departments, the National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration, or NOAA, the U.S. Food and Drug Administration, and the U.S. Department of Agriculture. In addition, regional fishery management councils work with NOAA fisheries to develop management plans specific to their regions. I was on the South Coast study region for the marine protected areas here in Southern California. And what they did was they came in and said, well, we're gonna reevaluate after five years. And that never happened. They said, the fish are gonna live in these areas and they're gonna populate and they're gonna push each other outside the zones. And that's gonna give fishermen a better opportunity to harvest from those areas without going into the MPAs. And that never happened either. Are the MPAs good for the environment? Yes, are they good for the commercial fishermen? No, but they are the stewards of the sea. They're not out there trying to damage the habitat because they need the habitat. To watch this entire episode on Outdoor Channel, contact your TV provider today.